Hello everybody, welcome to part two of my how to design a simple and minimalist website with Photoshop. My name is Derek Twiggo, uh, Derek Twiggo on YouTube, DJ, excuse me, Derek Twiggo on Vimeo, DJ DK Digital on YouTube. And in this part, I'm going to be showing you how to add a content section to your website. So let's take get started and take a look. So this is where we left off last time. And as you can see, what we did in the last video was we developed a header which had a um, a logo and um, navigation and we added a little bit of a shadow here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on developing the main content region which is going to go in here. And to do that we're going to build a slider carousel and then we're going to build a news section below. And also we're going to add some uh, some follower icons. So let's get started. Get it right down to it. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm just going to go ahead and Start by taking my um, rectangle tool and just gonna draw a rectangle, just like this. And already I've just defined a region for my slider. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to a gray color. I'm gonna pick something from my logo, and I'm going to go once again into my background and just click on this and this. And I'm going to click on the align tools and make sure that we're all centered, nice and even. That doesn't look so good, so I'll just leave that. So the next part that I want to do is I want to go down below and actually I want to add some pagination. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, um, just going to use some little dots here. And I'm just going, just going to do this here. I'm just going to hold down shift and pull down. And you'll recall that if you look at the logo I used in my header, let me zoom right in here. I had kind of a shadowed effect here. Uh, I want to go ahead and reuse that again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my logo. I'm going to copy for layer effects. And I'm just going to paste them right onto our little dot here. Just like that. We're also going to sample the color we use here too. And just like that, we have a nice little top here. I'm going to zoom in now once again. And just make sure we resize this nice and small. And I'm just going to duplicate this four times for a total of five slides. And we'll go ahead and align these now. And for a feature region up there up on the top as well, I wanted to go ahead and take some time and actually stylize that a little bit too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a inner shadow in here. And I'm going to not use global that, I'm going to use 90 degrees. And I'm going to use a size, a pretty good size, probably about 40 or so. And I'm going to use the distance. I'm going to keep it at zero, I think. Maybe, yeah, zero. And we'll just go ahead and take the opacity down. And I also like to add a stroke, too. Just a nice white stroke on the outside border. And then on the inside as well, I like to add a gradient overlay. And I'll be using a radial gradient for this. Angle of zero. And we're just going to use like a nice, relatively dark gradient. I'd say something probably just from black to white, to be honest. Reverse it. And just take the opacity right down. Now you can take any images you want and drop them right into here. So you're good to go and set with that. Now for the next part, what we're going to do is we're actually going to increase our canvas size and the height. I'm just going to go to image canvas size 
and change that from 800 to about 1200. Taking all of our content, we're going to move it up. And we're going to transform our background now so that it is once again the full size of the page. From here, what we'll be doing is we'll be taking our, we'll be adding a news section here. So I'm just going to call this um, recent news. And I'm going to choose a nice color for this. I think I'm going to use the same similar green color. Maybe not that green, but probably like a teal color, just to complement it. Picking colors is very important, so I try to take my time when I do this task because it's It'll, it'll make or break you if you don't do it right. I'm just going to paste those layer styles on that once more here. We already have a nice looking look and feel for that there. And we're going to go in here and we're going to flip our gradient overlay bow. I'm also going to reduce the opacity on more on it. Just like that. And I'm just going to go in here and grab some lorem ipsum text. I'm going to go to lipsum.com. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some lipsum lines. I'm just going to go to five lists, generate some lipsum. And we're just going to say, I'm just going to pull some out of here. And of course, I would recommend a font that matches one that you're using. I'm using Aller, and I think that a close match for that is Myriad Pro. Excuse me, not Myriad Pro. Um, Trebuchet MS. <coughs> excuse me. Just gonna change that color down to a nice white, whitish gray kind of color. And I'm going to change that size down to about 12 pixels. Make it 13. Grab a couple more lines here. And I'm just going to grab this one here. And just like that, we have some recent news added there for our website. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my line tool here. It's going to pull down a nice line here. So I can apply those layer styles to it. Actually, we're just going to clear those layer styles. And just on the edges here, we're just going to taper it off. Nice and easy. Just like that. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add a search my site section. And I'm going to once again use that same color that I chose earlier for recent news. Ch 
choose a nice size. I'm going to choose 24, maybe 18. And for that, I'm not even going to apply those layer styles. But what I will do is I'll change this back to Aller. And I'll just add in a box here. And we will go ahead now and just add in a little more color. I'm also going to add a button and I'm going to use this same piece here. Except I'm going to transform it. And what we'll do in here is we'll just go ahead and once again add that color. Oops, escape. And paste on our layer styles, of course. And we'll just type in words search. Make it nice and white. And what I also like to do is increase my drop shell a little, a little bit too. Something just like that. See how that works there? It's just the little details really that Make a big difference in your designs. And so I think that I'm just going to make a couple more edits down here. I'm just going to increase the uh, darkness a little bit, or the yeah, brightness of this here, so that it's slightly more balancing to my eyes with the rest of the site. Adam Ward search. Actually, no, we won't do that. And I think that what I'll do also is I will go ahead and reuse that line style again that we had going there earlier. Because our line tool. Actually, no, not even that. When you think about it, what we could do is we could just take this um, shadow up here that I just hid. Transform it, flip it over. And use it right over here. And in the next video, that we will do in part three out of three, I'll be showing you how you can add a social media section, the footer, and some final finishing touches to your homepage. So let's just finish this up here. And that's it. You're done. So I hope to see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.